What up? This is Devontae from Devontae's Paradise, and we got another brief intro. Say what's up to your boy Joner. Joner. Say what's up to your boy Joiner Lucas, man. Now, y'all say what's up? Cause I'm ready to get this shit started. All right, man. So we got Joiner Lucas in the building. Uh, we got his album. One of the newer legends besides Russ. Uh, Joyner Lucas is an interesting case because let, let me get into it like this, right? Uh, Joyner Lucas had a beef with Logic. <laughs> now, this is going to get interesting, right? So, uh, Joyner Lucas and Logic was got over a beef over his mixtape. It was, I believe it was uh, his mixtape that was the number. You guys can look it up. I know, you know, you join a Lucas fans. know everybody know you just look it up. Can't remember the number. So allegedly. He's on a tour bus or whatever, whatever. He goes up to Logic. Logic's big at this time. I think this is about 2017, 2018. Logic was huge. And he comes up with this idea. He wants to work with Logic. And they do a Tech Nine song, and there's some miscommunication, and all of a sudden, uh, Logic has that song with the phone number. <laughs> he got that song with the phone number, and Joyner Lucas is like, "What the fuck, dude?" You know, so Joyner Lucas felt a little bit bitter about that. You know, Logic continued on. Uh, they low key had a beef. I think there was some songs exchanged. I never looked too much into it. Cause when I first heard Joyner Lucas, I didn't like him. And the reason why I didn't like him is for that I'm not racist song. I I like I look at racism subjectively different. I mean, you know, everybody around me knows why. Uh, I've been around all different races. I've been through some racist situations. Uh, I consider that idiotic at this point, especially now. I've always considered racism pretty idiotic. And it's just, it, it's, uh, it's, it, it's so dumb to me. So anybody that puts, for me personally, anybody that puts racism in a forefront, it's like, dude, come on, just shut up, please. Shut up. We don't have to put racism into the forefront. Those guys are idiots. <laughs> just let, you know, uh, be aware of it. But just for me personally, again, I don't know how other people feel. But for me personally, it's just like, oh, my God, because you're, you're giving attention to idiots. That, to me personally, you're giving attention to idiots. But um, Joyner Luc Lucas do, does that song. He does that song. And. I'm like, I don't really like this song. I never listened to it. I don't even I didn't want to hear it. I don't, you know. So he comes up with this album. Now, bear with me because I'm getting excited. I'm a little excited. He comes up with this is this album. The first song that caught my attention was Will. I heard Will. I'm like, huh, oh, this is interesting. I heard it. And I'm like, yo, this this guy could really fucking spit. Like that shit, that shit was dope as fuck. So I started looking into his work because there's always one song that gets me in. I think next I heard Lotto, then I heard Revenge, and ADHD. Uh, then I heard I Love, and then I heard Isis, and I'm like, yeah, I'm I'm, I'm hooked. So, uh, back to the. Back to the Joyner Lucas and Logic beef, beef for a second. Now, they get into a little beef, whatever, whatever. It all transpires. They do a song together. Um, I want to say this about Logic because what Logic to me did, no offense to Logic because a lot of people don't like Logic because there's certain people that don't like Logic. I had a conversation with let's just say somebody and they said they don't like logic he lost a good chunk of his fan base because he was married to a woman and he got out the marriage for some stupid reason 
and he went with another woman and it's it, it comes off as if he cheated so I, again i don't know much about that i don't i don't go too much into that but uh where logic lost me at is quitting quitting music and he said he was retiring and i heard i think i heard the reason from him through somebody else and they were say he was saying he was getting made fun of and he was tired of it and to me i mean i you know again he's a father you know blessings to him he can be a father but to me personally to give up to let your haters get to you it's it's it, you you're 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 when you're a big artist and to let your haters make you quit is the epitome of just like what the fuck are you doing man you know for me personally it just it read me the wrong way i used to listen to logic i was getting into logic when i heard that and i heard a few interviews and i heard why he quit and how he did what he did i'm like yeah i, I can't rock with that and and joiner lucas comes Joyner Lucas comes and says, man, I, I'm so sorry. I was hating on you and this, this, that. And I'm like, you let your haters get to you. You cannot let the hate, you cannot let your haters get to you. Yeah, sure, they're annoying. I get it. I'm at the beginning of a success. I get it. I'm not even close to you guys' level. I'm getting there. This is the beginning. This is the beginning for me. But even at the beginning, people see you rise and they start hating and they start putting roadblocks, which you're going to find out nine times out of ten. Is that that person is hating on you because you're a potential and you're you're becoming successful. You're 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 winning. You're successful. They're hating on you. Don't let them win. You know, it, it's just to me, it just didn't make sense. And. Um, no offense, Jordan Lucas, this is a great album, you know. Uh, dope album I think I like every song I listened to the whole album once I'm like yeah I can I can I can rock with this song or this not this song I can rock with this album Um, let's go over the features we got Logic Young Thug Chris Brown Timbaland King OSF don't know who the fuck that is and Fabulous so I also seen him in the studio with Busta Rhymes too, so and he got a new EP out, I think. I'm gonna be waiting for the next album. You know, big up to Joanna Lucas. Oh, one more thing. Uh, there's a remix to Will with Will Smith. Uh, Joanna Lucas did so good. I'm probably not gonna add it, but Will Smith did incredible on it too. I might. I don't know. And um, the track is produced by uh, Crank Lucas. So Joanna Lucas brought in Crank Lucas. I'm calling the Lucas boys. Yeah, let me know what y'all think. Like, comment, subscribe. This your boy Devontae from Devontae's Paradise. Anyway, peace.